some visitors and other controllers arrived from other uh, from other railways to look at the three engines. engines. We'll take Stewart and Falcon, said the manager. No one wanted Duke. They thought him too old. Well, oh, it might be old, but I can still be really useful. But I can understand. Don't worry, Duke. It will find you a nice railway where you can come work, and then we can keep you in order. Keep me in order? <laughs> be off with you. Falcon and Stewart puffed away to the, uh, the, their new railway. However... Duke stayed behind. Well, old boy, we hate to do this, but we, you have to get, well, you will have to um, get put in a shed. Let's oil and grease him. Come on. Duke was sh put in a shed. He was sheeted snugly and oiled and greased. Then his driver and fireman had to go away and find work. Present day. But inside the shed... Duke was away, sleeping happily, dreaming of the, the old days. All right, so here's the story. Back on the main Shadow Railway, I, me and Stuart were, or the engineer Sam were called Stuart and Falcon. We all worked really hard, and we and we got jobs done. Duke was the oldest and wisest, and here's where our story gets fun. The that one morning, the manager came to visit us. He told us that we are, that we have to take a passenger train from um this the main station all the way up to King Ori's Bridge, and then back again. We have to pass over a mountainside. Listen, said Duke, the mountain road is dangerous. I'll lead. No, said Falcon. I'll lead. How can I learn the route with you lumbering ahead and blocking your view? Suit yourself, but never mind the view. Look at the track. We set off down the rails. It was a boring, boring track down the, down on the trails, and after the station, it was boring. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle, said Falcon. No hurry, no hurry, of oh, Duke. Our speed grew slower and slower. As we entered a tunnel that was curved, the trouble happened. Then there was trouble. I had derailed and I was hanging dangerously over the edge. Duke stopped and pulled me back. He was... He didn't stop for nothing. He was holding back as much as he could. Then there was trouble. Water! Duke needs water! Quickly! He said his fireman. Pretty soon everyone's passing jugs, buckets, kettles, and saucepans back and forth from cottage to Duke's... Duke's... Th until Duke's thirst was quenched. All the while, Duke was holding on, on with all his strength. <laughs> station. The passengers were singing Duke's praises. Your Duke, said the passengers, is a hero. He's there firm like a bulldog and wouldn't let go. This is true, sir. I nearly fell off the rolled down the mountain and almost spoiled my new coat of paint. Well, Duke, you have certainly had quite the adventure. Yes, sir. Thank you. You deserve a rest. Thanks. The end. That's the whole story. We were called Stuart and Falcon. We lived with another old engine named Duke, respectively. Duke was the grandpa of, of the three of us. He was very old and wise. 
he knew exactly what to do in an emergency, and he always had, and he was always keeping an eye on us little engines. But we always knew to joke around, around at the time. Whatever we did and we did think was right, 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 or that was very naughty, he would always have, have one catchphrase that he would use. That would never suit his grace, and we would always laugh at him. But then, hard times came. 